Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deporte TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Andre SOG Ward, undefeated, 32 and 0. Tops, the man known as Money, Floyd Money Mayweather, as fighter of the decade, defeats Floyd Mayweather as fighter of the decade by a landslide by Sports Illustrated's Fighter of the Decade Award, right? How could this be? You say, how could anybody justify this? No disrespect to Andre Ward, but this is clearly an outside of the ring award that the voters did not like Floyd Mayweather outside of the ring. It is not even possible that Andre Ward could have competed with Floyd Mayweather in the, t in the 2010s. From 2010 to 2020, it is not even possible that Andre Ward could have possibly competed with Floyd Mayweather on any level of boxing. Inside the ring or outside the ring. Revenue making or fighting. The level of opponents is not even close. It's not even close. This is a slap in the face of Floyd Money Mayweather, to say the least, right? Let's just talk about it. Let's just go over the resumes, right? Starting in 20, 2010, start the decade off. Floyd Mayweather's the first fight in 2010 was a huge fight with Shane Mosley. Sugar Shane Mosley, who was coming off of two of the best wins in his career. Floyd Mayweather was hit with that big punch in the second round, and everybody, the boxing world, remembers that punch, right? His legs were buckled, he nearly dropped. So he fought Sugar Shane Mosley, Hall of Famer. Then he went on to fight Victor Ortiz, who Victor Ortiz, Victor Ortiz was in the fight of the year fight with Andre Berto. Floyd Mayweather was looking to face the winner of Andre Berto, Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz upset Andre Berto in the fight of the year, which saw both guys hit the canvas. Floyd Mayweather knocks out Victor Ortiz. Then Floyd Mayweather goes on to fight Hall of Famer Miguel Cotto, right, in 2012, right? Defeats Miguel Cotto, unanimous decision, right, in an action-packed fight. Then he goes on to sign the big six-fight, huge mega deal had never been seen in any sport for Floyd Mayweather to fight on Showtime, a six-fight mega deal with Showtime that was groundbreaking, right? It was absolutely groundbreaking. So he goes on to fight WBC welterweight world champion, Robert Guerrero, right? He defeats Robert Guerrero, who was 31-1-1 at the time. That was his first fight in a big lucrative deal. Then he goes on to fight now four division Mexican superstar boxer who's on his way to being a legend, who if he's not already a legend, right? Saul Canelo Alvarez, who was undefeated at the time, had defeated Shane Mosley, defeated, and everybody said that Floyd Mayweather was afraid of him, right? 42 and no, one draw is who he fought. Saul Canelo Alvarez put the one blemish to this day. Saul Canelo Alvarez has one blemish on his resume, and that's to Floyd Mayweather to this day, right? So he defeats Saul Canelo Alvarez, right, in 2013. Then he goes on after Marcos Madonna upsets Adrian Broner in dramatic fashion. Floyd Mayweather goes on and takes on. Marcos Maidana defeats Marcos Maidana in a rough, rugged fight that Marcos Maidana gave him one of the toughest fights of his career. Not to mention, before I get to Marcos Maidana, Floyd Mayweather broke all types of records with Saul Canelo Alvarez, pay-per-view-wise, okay? Uh, then he goes on to fight Marcos Maidana, which was the rough, rugged fight, right? We know how that fight played out the first fight. It was rough. It was rugged, right? And, uh, uh, People felt like, you know, that was one of the toughest fights in Marcos and Floyd Mayweather's career. Hands down, right? And uh, some people even felt like uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather got the nod that he shouldn't have got. They thought that it should have at least been a draw. Okay? So let's just compare what, what took place 
what, what Andre Ward did up until that point in his career while Floyd Mayweather was doing this in his career because they were fighting simultaneously, right? So let's go back 2010 for Andre Ward. He fought Allen Green. He won Allen Green, unanimous decision, right? He, this was the Super 6 tournament Andre Ward was in. You okay? So he fought Allen Green and defeated Allen Green for the WBA Super World, uh, World Super Middleweight World title, right? Then in to, uh, 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 he fought in 2010 again against Saki Obika. Unanimous decision. Nobody's confusing Saki Obika or Allen Green with Shane Mosley, right? Or Canelo Alvarez. Not even at that point in time, uh, 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 Robert Guerrero, who was uh, a superstar in the lighter divisions who moved up to welterweight, right? Right? Or Marcos Madonna. Or Miguel Cotto. Right? So Floyd Mayweather fought Shane Mosley. He fought Miguel Cotto, Robert Guerrero, and Canelo Alvarez by 2013. Right? By 2013. Okay. By 2013, Andre Ward fought Alan Green, Saki Obika, Arthur Abraham. Right? Saki Obika was 28-4-2. Alan Green, 29-1. None of, none of which are Hall of Famers. Arthur Abraham was 32 and 2, not a Hall of Famer. Carl, and then he fought Carl Frotch in 2011. So 2011, he fought Carl Frotch and Arthur Abraham. In 2010, he fought Saki Obika and Alan Green, right? None of which are Hall of Famers. Then in 2012, he fought one time. That was against Bad Chad Dawson, who is not a Hall of Famer at, at, at all whatsoever. So then he fought Edwin Rodriguez in 2013. Right, he fought one time in 2012, then he fought one time in 2013. Edwin Rodriguez, not a Hall of Famer by far, and Bad Chad Dawson, who's not a Hall of Famer, good fighter, but not a Hall of Famer. So, he fought one time in 2013 against Edwin Rodriguez, and one time in 2012 against Chad Dawson, neither which are Hall of Famers. Then he had a two year hiatus because remember, he was going back and forth with his promotional company, right? Then he gets out of the promotional company. Uh, uh, the issues, court and, and things of that nature. So he had two years off in the in the in the in the decade. Two years he didn't fight at all, and then uh, two years he only fought uh, uh, once. So out of four years span, Andre Ward fought twice. There's only ten years in a decade. He went four years only fighting twice. Okay, keep that in mind. He went four years only fighting twice in the decade. So four out of the 10 years, right? He didn't even compete. And when he did compete, the, the level of competition outside of bad Chad Dawson, Ivan Rodriguez, nothing to speak of, nothing to write home about, okay? Then he comes back and he fights Paul Smith, 35 and five. That was his comeback fight. Then he, then he has a fight with Sullivan Barrera, right? Who was undefeated. Right again, not another Hall of Famer. Paul Smith, not a Hall of Famer. Sullivan Barrera, not a Hall of Famer. Okay, and he fights Paul Smith in 2015. Right, that's one fight in 2015. Then he didn't fight in 2015 again. Then he fought Sullivan Barrera 2016. Right now, let's go through what Floyd Mayweather was doing up until that time. Okay. While he was fighting once a year, so in a in a five year span, let's just let's just look at this, right? Let's just go over this. In a five year span, Andre Ward fought Paul Smith in 2015, one time in 2015. He fought one time in 2013, and he fought one time in 2012. So five years he fought three times, and against one opponent that was borderline Hall of Famer in Chad Dawson, the rest were just you would consider tune-up fights, right? For Floyd Mayweather, right? So five years, he fought three fights and the level of opponent wasn't nothing to write home about, right? So by the time he fought Sullivan Barrera in 2016, let's look at Floyd Mayweather and what he did in, up until that point, right? So now, Floyd Mayweather fought uh, 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 Marcos Madonna twice in 2014. Two pay-per-view, huge pay-per-views, none of which Andre Ward was doing pay-per-view events. Just keep that in mind. They weren't big, lucrative pay-per-view events. The level of opponent wasn't Hall of Fame worthy. Marcos Madonna 
by far trumps any of the opponents I just named on Andre Ward's resume up until this point. Okay? A bigger name than Sullivan Barrera. He's a bigger name than uh, um, Chad Dawson. And he's a bigger name than Paul Smith and Edwin Rodriguez. Hands down. Hands down. Right? What Andre Ward was known for at that point in time was winning the Super 6 tournament. And I give him credit for that. But still, none of those fighters are Hall of Fame fighters. Now, he fought Marcos Madonna twice, right? Now, he already fought and had um, Miguel Cotto, Hall of Famer, Shane Mosley, Hall of Famer, uh, uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, Hall of Famer, Marcos Madonna, Borderline, Hall of Famer. He's more of a Hall of Famer than the guys I just named on Andre Ward's resume by far, right? Then you look at where did he go from there? You got it. The biggest fight in boxing history. I'll say it. I'll repeat it again. He went on to fight the biggest fight in the history of the sport of boxing against eight division Filipino superstar legendary boxer Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, which shattered all records, which did 4.6 million pay-per-view buys. buys. Andre Ward at this point hadn't even headlined a serious pay-per-view card. Point blank and period. Okay. Then he went on to fight Andre Berto is what Floyd Mayweather went to do. Right. Andre Berto would be considered a bigger name than anybody we just mentioned on Andre Ward's resume. Hands down. Hands down. Okay? Now, Andre Ward, in this point in time, in this decade, the big lucrative fight he had was two fights against Sergey Krusher Kovalev. Within the first fight, it was pay-per-view. Uh, the first fight, it was a unification bout. And the first fight, people thought that Sergey Kovalev won the fight. He was dropped in the fight, and a lot of people felt Sergey Kovalev won the first fight, and he was uh, didn't get the nod. Unanimous decision for Andre Ward, and people felt like that was the wrong decision. Okay, then he went on in twenty. That was in twenty sixteen, right? So in twenty sixteen, he fought three times: Sullivan Barrera, and then he fought Alexander Brand. 21 and 25 and one, who is nothing to write home about, and is definitely not a Hall of Famer. Then from there, he went on to fight Sergey Crusher Kovalev. That was the Hall of Famer on his resume. So he had one fighter in the decade of 2010 on his... Well, no. He had Carl Frotch as a Hall of Famer, right? So two fighters on his resume in the decade of 2010. Uh, so from 2010 to 2020, he had two fighters in his entire resume, Hall of Famers. One Carl Frotch back in 2011 in the beginning of the decade. And won Sergey Kovalev at the end of the decade. The second time he stopped Sergey Kovalev on pay per view, and that was his last fight. Right? But leading up until that point, he had no big lucrative fights, no big major pay per view events. Floyd Mayweather had a huge major crossover sport pay per view event to the sport of boxing that did uh, uh, more pay per view buys by far than Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev against Conor McGregor, who was a UFC superstar, mega star. Right. So he dared to be great. They had a crossover a sport where UFC fighter fights a boxer in the boxing ring. And that was against Conor McGregor, who was the biggest star, uh, the most brash star in the UFC. That's who Floyd Mayweather fought in a crossover event. And it did mega numbers. OK, so he fought Andre Ward. Uh, I mean, uh, Andre Berto, Manny Pacquiao, Marcos Madonna, Saul Canelo Alvarez, just Canelo Alvarez. Conor McGregor, Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Shane Mosley says it all. That says it all. And they, and he topped out the year. Floyd Mayweather last fought in 2017, right? You got it. Andre Ward last fight against Sergey Crusher Kovalev was uh, uh, June of 2017. So Andre Ward last fought. Floyd Mayweather actually fought after Andre Ward, he fought uh, 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 August of 2017. Andre Ward fought Kovalev in June of 2017. So he fought two months after him. So the last time we've seen any, either of these guys in the ring was Floyd Mayweather was more active by far. You have four years, five years that Andre Ward only fought three times in a decade. So there's only 10 years in a decade. So five out of the 10 years, he was only active three times. And this is the man that they chose, and this is no disrespect to Andre Ward, but this is the man that they chose to be the fighter of the decade over Floyd Mayweather, who shattered all pay-per-view uh, records in the decade of 2010, did numbers that was unheard of in the sport. 
And they both ended their career undefeated. So we can't say and can't use the fact that Andre Ward ended his career undefeated because it's not even close. He ended his career 32-0 and with 16 knockouts. We know Floyd Money Mayweather shattered records, ending his career 50-0 and with 27 knockouts. He nearly had more knockouts than Andre Ward had in a total of fights. He had 27 knockouts. Five, Andre Ward had a total of 32 fights, so only five fights more than Floyd Mayweather even had knockouts. But Floyd Mayweather wasn't even considered a knockout artist. So he finished his career 50-0. and Andre Ward finished his career 32-0. and Not even close. This just lets you know it has nothing to do with what Floyd Mayweather did in the sport and everything to do with the person that they don't like outside of the sport. And that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire L D B C. Shouts out the new media. Shouts out the Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.